Okay, we're back, and I did some renovations on my base. I got a skylight and decked it out with some stone. And I started work on this thing, which is called a Coke oven. And these blocks, you yeah, have to make the whole thing out of these Coke oven blocks or bricks, which takes brick and sand. You get that from clay. And apparently what you do is you build out this 3x3x3 three by three by three block, and then once you're done building it, um, you can then, like, it creates, like, a one, one of the blocks becomes, like, a window into the furnace, and that's where you can put in coal, and then it will uh, change it into coal coke and creosote oil. But I ran out of clay partway, so that's on hold for now, but what I've been working on is my electrical power. I've got this all set up now. The bat boxes are slowly discharging because what happened was I didn't, and I didn't actually think that this would happen, but um, is this on still? No. Um, the lava pool that I was pumping from. Let's get down there. What happened was it actually uh, got dried up, except for this area here. So. Uh, there's no more lava for now, and that won't last very long. Once I'm, I gotta move this over, but it, it won't last very long. <clears throat> I didn't realize it would actually suck up the lava. I thought it would uh, just be sort of infinite, but that was not the case. So that's gonna be an issue for the future. But I've actually got a lot of energy stored, so I think I'm okay for now. And there's, it actually stored a bunch of lava in uh, the pipe was empty, but. There's a bunch of lava in here, and that's actually gonna that actually will charge one of these up almost full, I believe. Um, and I still got a bunch of energy. Now this is getting depleted because I think something's in the furnace right now. Uh, nothing. Is this going? Uh, maybe it was using the macerator. Anyway. Put those in there. I've got another electric furnace set up, and this thing, which is a rolling machine, and it actually needs—it's like a build craft item, and it needs like these MJ. It needs a different type of energy than just electricity. It takes these MJ, and so you need to create like one of those build craft engines. And I decided to use the electrical one because I had power here anyway. And I don't have to give it coal or anything, and it just, uh, when it's on, when I put that lever, it generates MJ, which charges up the, it charges up the rolling machine, because, um, it's sort of like, if, if you leave this on, it's just gonna use up energy that goes nowhere, so, have a lever there to turn that off, and looking at the energy usage, this is going down pretty quickly, actually. I'll probably have to move this pump over over to the right by one there to get more more lava and hopefully that pool is deeper than it looks because that's gonna suck but I'm trying to get solar panels and it's kind of a long way to get there because you need these silicon cells and the only way to get those is through the centrifuge and the only way to get the centrifuge is you need to create yourself a couple of these advanced machine blocks and these uh, circuit boards, advanced circuits, which are kind of interesting. You need glowstone, so I have to go to the nether for that, which is unfortunate. But anyway, I need a couple of these advanced machine blocks, and to create those, you need advanced alloys, and they're created by compressing one of these ingots, which you get from the rolling machine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and build that, and it, yeah, it discharges there. There's one, and then to charge this back up, I can just do this, and then head back here, and it, you can tell it's it's on. And then when that's full, I'll just turn it off again, so I'm not wasting my energy. But so I'll throw that in the compressor. And what I'll do next is get these carbon plates. So carbon plates is you compress mesh, 
you get mesh by get, putting fiber together, and you get fiber from coal dust, which is done by macerating coal. And so I've got some coal here that I already made into coal dust. So I'm just going to turn that into carbon fiber and get the mesh. And once this is done, put that in there. So the next thing I'm going to need is a machine block. And I was actually considering before making the centrifuge, because that's pretty intensive on, on materials, I might get a rotary macerator, which um, is a little bit cheaper. And uh, it's basically like a really fast macerator. And because the right, problem right now is I got a lot of ore that needs to go through the macerator, but it's very slow. So that might be an easier, and it still takes these machine blocks, so. I'm just gonna do that. Get myself another machine block here. So two of those, and this should be done. So it's just that, and there we go. But I mean, I don't know what I'm actually gonna, gonna go for here. I'd like to get a centrifuge. But I don't know if it's like how to get these these items here. You need an assembly table, which I don't have yet. And it looked last time I looked it up, it seemed like that might be a little bit difficult because um, I don't have enough diamonds. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff in the on the way. But I think the smart move might be to get the rotary macerator to speed things up. And I have all the items, so I'm just going to go ahead and build that, which is a bunch of refined iron and the old macerator and that advanced machine block. So I'm going to pop this out, make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, it's stuck. <clears throat> So, I'm going to take my refined iron, my machine block, and build this guy. And give it, yep, okay, and throw that in there. So then it charges up, and then it has to reach like a certain RPM. And once it reaches that RPM, then it's going to start doing stuff. But I'm not sure why it's actually not starting, which is interesting. Maybe I need to give it a redstone, redstone signal. Let's try that. Ah, uh, yeah. So it needs to be powered by a redstone signal. But I don't like that lever placement. I might... Because I want to I wanna eventually have several machines here, so... I think I might put that somewhere else later. Because... It would be nice to be able to have other electrical things sitting here. But for now, that's okay. So that's gonna take a while, and apparently, like it's much much less efficient if you uh, if you use it when it's not maxed out. But I don't know if I actually have enough energy to run that for very long before moving that pump, which is unfortunate because my energy reserves aren't looking too good. But let's see how that how that works. So my next goal is to get the centrifuge running so I can start creating a better source of power. I really like the idea of solar power because I it's I don't need to worry about moving my lava pump or anything like that, which is just a pain in pain in the ass. So I'm trying to see what the easiest of these these swappable components would be I, ha I can make all this stuff 
fine now, and I should probably macerate some more, some more coal. But the hard part is going to be creating these ender pearl and redstone, huh? The assembly table would be nice, but I don't have the diamonds. It seems like the best route might be to get the uh, the advanced circuit, which is because I can create these easy enough and. Let's get back to that. Just need glowstone. So I have lapis and redstone, that's not a problem, it's just the glowstone. So I'll probably have to make a trip to the nether, get another portal set up, and just go grab a bunch of glowstone. Um, so I'm probably going to do that, and then I will be back. Okay, so I've been to the nether, I set up my portal over here, and it actually generated a really good spot that was right beside some lava and some glowstone which was really great and I've actually I just I realized I didn't need to move this I just dug around the lava pool below and so the pipe would extend downwards and it did and so now I'm just filling this up as a buffer for later but I found that I can actually bring lava buckets and just put it in here and almost one lava bucket almost fully charges one of these bat boxes so um, I just needed more energy because the macerator, when it's on and it's up to speed, it still takes a bunch of energy, but it's insanely fast, like, really fast, which is awesome. Um, so what I need to do now is build my centrifuge. And I've got some alloys ready, and I got the glowstone I needed for this advanced circuit, these guys. So now I'm going to be centrifuging up, or uh, macerating this iron ore, which is going to take no time at all. And I've got some advanced or refined iron ready, so we can make the advanced machine blocks I need. Two of those, and two carbon plates, and two advanced alloys. So I need some dust. And the cool thing is you can actually maestrate two different items at once. Oh, I actually created something random there. That's funny. Unnamed. Interesting. Uh, anyway, might as well throw those in the furnaces. I'm just going to get some coal dust so I can create those uh, carbon fiber plates. What was the recipe for that? There's so many stages. Uh, it's two of those together. Okay, and that goes in that guy. And I actually have some some of those from last time. Um, that thing is so fast; it's awesome. It just takes constantly takes energy, which is kind of the downside. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal. Alright, so that'll be four, and that's all I need. So while that happens, I can uh, create these advanced, or is it advanced circuits? So it's a normal circuit, and lapis, and redstone, and stuff. So I'm going to need two of those. And do I have one left? I have one, so I have to actually create... One of those guys, which is just cables, right? Cables, refined iron, and redstone. So many stages just to create one thing. All right, there's that. And so let me grab my lapis, which I put here. Uh, nope, here. Lapis, redstone, and glowstone, and this guy. And the glowstone was there, and then advanced. Yep. Okay, so that's that. Two advanced circuits. I can just get my old extractor out of the wall. Advanced machine block. Or maybe I, I should probably make a new extractor, actually, because I'm going to need that for rubber still. The old one. So I might as well do that as well. I'm just going to some of these guys through because I know I'll need them. 
And is this done macerating? If that's on, I might as well put a bunch of stuff through it. Put the copper through. So fast. <clears throat> anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was making another circuit board. Which I needed more cables for. This game, or this mod is, uh... It's fun, but there's so many dependencies for stuff. All right. There's that. And four tree taps and another machine block. Which is what I needed these for. Machine block. And I've got some wood, yes I do, wood left. So I need four tree taps. And actually I'm out of space. Four tree taps, a circuit, and a machine block. So there's the extractor. So, almost there. I've got the two circuits. I need to create uh, I need to create these things still. Okay, so I need two more machine blocks. Actually, well, that. Okay, I got four of those, four of those. Oh, and I actually have those. Okay, so. Okay, there's the machine blocks, and then I need circuits on top and the guy in the middle and the refined iron so I think I'm okay now yeah let's give it a try find iron extractor advanced circuit and machine block all right got the centrifuge and I think a good spot for that would be right here so I'm going to need a, another cable to hook that up, because I think you need a switch for this as well. I honestly don't remember, or don't even know. <laughs> uh, there's my cable. Oh, I had some. Cool. So I'm going to throw that on the back, and you have to shift click or else it opens the interface. So there we go. Now I can use this guy and do some cool stuff. So my actual need for this in the first place was solar panels, and I needed these cells. I can get everything else. Everything else I can just make, but these silicon cells is what I needed. Looks like you you put in lazarite dust and empty cells, and you, it like makes these four separate things in a really long time with a ton of energy. Oh, that actually might be a problem. Soda light dust. In any case, it looks like I need to put lapis lazuli in there to get any of those. So let's give that a shot. And it looks like it needs a full stack. Okay. Is that working? It looks like it is. But I'm kind of worried that... Uh, <laughs> It'll suck all my power. This one's empty. And the lava is actually getting low in these, so maybe I'll turn this guy on. Fill these up with lava. Yeah, you can see it flowing there. Because these can actually store a lot of lava. I don't know how much is actually in there. It's hard to hard to tell. Looks like it's empty now. Yeah, they don't really give you a mouse over. Oops. Well, this one's full and its power's out, and this one's still going. So these pumps are still running, but I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's any lava left down there, unfortunately. So. This guy's still running. What did that say? It was like... It was actually going to take a, a long time. 
it was 1,250 seconds and 100,000 energy. Oh yeah, so that's, uh, that's a long time. I'm going to go see how much lava I have left down there. And if I, if I don't... I definitely have enough to, to run that. Oh yeah, it's totally empty. I actually found some iron. Um, with any luck, I can just dig, dig down here, and eventually hit uh, some more lava, and it'll just automatically extend down towards it. I don't know if there's like a, a maximum extension that it'll go. So I'm actually interested to see. Maybe I'll just while that centrifuge runs, I'll just go down here. Because I really want to know. It would be really unfortunate if I have to truck lava up in buckets constantly. That's some gold. Um, one lava bucket actually gives a lot of power, um, but it's still not like fully automatic, which is. What I want, and I'm just worried. Like, if I have to centrifuge a bunch of stuff, I don't know if my my energy will be will be enough. One thing is in this game is there's so many ores. Um, like, you you run into ores like all the time, which is which is great, but like usually not the kind you actually need. But redstone, I am short on, so that's nice. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I just hear water. Oh, and there's bedrock. Yep, so that drill, or that pump is pretty much done. Um, it's job that it's ever going to do. Because, oh, there's some bauxite. That's another thing. I've got all this bauxite, but the only way to get anything out of it is through the uh, centrifuge. Which I have now, but... It's like 20 minutes or something to centrifuge this stuff, which is kind of crazy, but you get a lot, a lot of interesting stuff, and I really need those solar cells, so I'm going to tunnel my way back up here. Yeah, this, there might be a lava pool like nearby that I can like route over, but ideally, I mean, once I have the solar cells, I won't be using that pump anyway, but it was it was necessary to at least run that uh, rotary rotary macerator that I built because that is so much faster. So I'm actually gonna check the energy, and see uh, how we're doing with the centrifuge using so much. It, it doesn't seem that one's empty. That one. These two are full, but it's like, it's using this guy's lava, and that's like the last lava I have. I can turn these off. Because <clears throat> there's nothing left. Oh, it's part way there. Uh, since this is on, I should be using it. Oh, nope, I did not mean to click that. Yeah, this thing is is crazy fast. I'm gonna macerate everything and then just uh, just turn it off because it sucks a lot of energy. And I don't know what this right slot does. It doesn't seem. It seemed like when I put something there, it kind of mixed it. But I don't know if just if that's like something you need to do regularly. It's kind of nice too. There's like a double output here. Does lead work? No, you can't. I think you need a, like a rock crusher for lead. It, it doesn't seem to. Work in the macerator. Zombie. Um, what else do I need to throw in there? Gold. So fast. And I should probably run this one block of silver through. Um, but yeah, the rolling machine is working, everything's working. Um, I just need to. Wait for that centrifuge to finish, and then I'll I'll probably centrifuge out. Like the next step was centrifuging out this uh, lazarite dust because oh, you can create those with that as well. 
Interesting. Paint <laughs> painter. Huh. Um the lazarite dust because I or no, yeah, I needed this the byproduct of of that. Where is it? Soda light. Is that what I needed? Um it's easy to lose track in this from what you're actually we're trying to make. Oh yeah, silicon cells. So if I if I centrifuge out the lazarite dust. Oh and I actually need a lot more than I'm gonna get. That's unfortunate. Um soda light. Twenty-three soda light dust. Oh, and I can centrifuge redstone. Oh, well that's much easier. I'll probably just do that next, because I have the redstone, and that gives me a lot of silicon cells, which will be plenty in, to make some solar panels. And then I guess you just go through the upgrade process. And since I'm like on a mountain, right at the top, there's nothing blocking my my view, so I'll probably just clear out a few trees up there and set up like a big array of solar panels so that I can actually have like fully renewable energy, because trucking lava up to these guys is going to be a not too fun. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait till this is done and then I will probably centrifuge some redstone, but that's really boring, so I will cut and do that next time.